everyone today uh, I'm doing a little bit more modification on my uh, sawdust toilet all right this is the uh, sawdust toilet I was using on my vacation last year uh, now it could be for composting uh, ultimately it went to a compost pile but that really wasn't the, the problem I had wasn't uh, didn't have anything to do with using the sawdust toilet well. That's a previous video. It worked really great. The issue I had is the urine diverter and really probably a little bit how I designed this bathroom, which was not tall enough. Now, this was sitting loose, and in a pinch, this will definitely uh, work. However, I want to stabilize it, and I want to raise it up because of this issue and the size of this here. This is, a, I believe, a two-quart... Uh, container. Now, uh, I had to empty this once a day because I don't have this going into a gray water tank yet. And I want to decrease the number of times that I have to empty that. So I have this two gallon container uh, that will slide here. Now, the portion of the urine diverter that comes out, you can see right down here, is about even with this section because I've raised this up an inch and a half, it's gonna give me more a use of this. But in order to make use of this higher option, I had to raise this. And fortunately, my office, which my bathroom also serves as my office, this closes just right. So one, two, three, Four. Those four were just bolting this down into the base uh, below this. Now, the, the portion of wood below this section, which uh, I think you can see a little bit right down here that I talked about before, that was already bolted down to this. However, I wanted it, I decided to go a little bit more secure. So I got an additional four wood screws that were longer and washers. So it goes through the base of this into the base underneath and actually through to the wood down below. Do a quick check to see how easy. All right, that actually goes in pretty easy. It's uh, fairly snug. All right, so what I've done is I've slid this onto the ribbed elbow right here, which is going to connect with this. I did put a little silicone sealant up here uh, to help that, uh, make sure that doesn't leak. It never did before. So the idea will be is that I can pop this off pretty easily by going this way. And then when I'm ready, It'll just be able to slide it, squeeze it, and pop it back in. All right, so here's my final setup. Uh, and again, this is temporary. At some point, uh, I'll either have a gray water in back here. I may put one under the bus uh, so that I don't have to empty this out. But this will give me uh, uh, more than just the two quarts, so I don't have to empty it every day. And the idea is that this will drain downward. So when you're doing your business in here... And which now my bus is a little crooked, so uh, this may not drain like I want it to, but let's see at least if we can see what happens when that goes down in there. It's just regular water, of course.
All right, that does drain out really good from here. Uh, now, the other thing I always do is once I'm done, I do spray some, a little bit of vinegar down in here. And I can tell you that this setup last year, uh, I did not have any odor coming from this area at all. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my uh, uh, bathroom upgrade uh, video. And don't forget to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share. Thank you.